just broken into the squad when injury stopped him at the back end of last year from taking part in that quartet of June games. Early pressure here on Scalvini. Connor Gallagher closing him down well, and that pressure has worked. Gomez, then Cessignon, skip. Cessignon again. Sharp start this from England. This is worth a hit, maybe. Skip. Palmer. Wouldn't quite sit for Gallagher. Then he got something on it. Penalty. What a start. England piling on to Italy here in the opening minute. And Gallagher must have been caught in that maelstrom of legs in there. Late challenge, wasn't it? Coming in from behind here. Eduardo Bove. Watch the number eight. Took out Gallagher. Referee had a great view. Rian Brewster. Scores. Buried right in the corner. Dream start for England. That's a great penalty. I suspect even if Plitzari had gone the right way, he wouldn't have made it. Played week in, week out and midweeks for Nottingham Forest as they got themselves promoted. Here's Angel Gomez. Brilliantly fed on. Oh, that's superb. Brewster's got another. The daintiest of touches. Gorgeous goal. Five minutes played. Italy nil, England two. Gallagher again with the pressing. Bove again with the mistake. And as Viti played Brewster on while the rest had stepped up. That is worth many another view. Delicate, beautiful and deadly. Two for Brewster, two for England. And credit for the weight of pass to, to Angel Gomez who played him in. That's a good ball. Cambiazzo got himself free in the middle there and probably should have done better. You would think at least on target. Here comes Spence. Oh, he nearly found Brewster Gallagher. Oh, what a block from McCauley. That is as good as a goal. Connor Gallagher can't believe it. Anywhere but there and it's 3-0. Keeper was beaten, no doubt about it. That's a brilliant touch from him there, though. And he's so nearly right on cue, got Italy back into this contest. Glorious bit of skill. And Italy come close again. Ravella with the Italian corner. Ten minutes or so to half time. It nearly half the deficit a couple of times. That's a good corner. And a bullet of a header on target from Viti. Blocked on the line as Viti then fires wide. Right place, right time. Rian Brewster to protect the lead that he's given his side hip. I don't think Joe Bursick's getting to that. No chance. Big crowd on that penalty spot. Oh, it's a good delivery! And the header's off the post and the full arc's been missed. Brewster was there. And yet he wasn't. And it very nearly was a sting in the tail after a double sting at the start. England coming very close to making it three. Levi Colwell's header onto the post. So, so close. And here is Palmer using those skills and getting the shot away. It's a really good shot too. The spill could have gone anywhere. Plitzari's lucky. Dogi's been a bright spark since coming on. You just see him there making a little underlapping run following his pass. Bit of room here for Ravella. And that's a wonderful effort. 
closer than the last couple have been and Bursic wasn't quite so sure that time that had some good movement on it that Ravella shot well, depending on how the keeper and wall set up either corner or an option here and he is going for goal and it was on target pretty comfortably beaten out by, by, by Joe Bursic Opportunity's gone. Ravella has to be very careful here where well, he's been booked. Don't know if the referee's realised it. He does now because he's off. Red card, Nicola Ravella. Lunging in. Having hauled back Cole Palmer in the first half for the most blatant yellow you've ever seen. Mind you, might be a chance to turn 2 0 into 3. Balogun's done brilliantly. Lovely little shift and then the wrong footing effort. Pizzari was smart enough to keep his own diving options open. And a blow of the whistle to confirm England winners away to Italy. That is a good result and it was a good performance. And for a good while, it was a pretty good game too. 2-0 with both the goals scored by Rian Brewster very early on in the piece. Italy haven't lost for well over a year and a half and they've had that defeat inflicted on them at home as well and who knows these two might renew acquaintances next summer in Romania or Georgia when the Euros come around the final score Italy nil England two